Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be about certifications once again, and today we are going to be talking about the eLearn Security EJPT certification, Junior Penetration Tester certification and exam. And the first thing that I would like to do is I'm already here at eLearn Security's website, and I wanted to show, uh, first of all, the, the knowledge domains here. Uh, you can see that these are um, pretty well-known concepts when it comes to penetration testing uh, and security in general. But um, one advice that I would like to give you is you must be able to apply these concepts and these things that you're going to learn using the learning path and their courses. You should be able to apply these things uh, in a practical environment, I mean in their labs because you'll be tested um, in a practical way. This is a practical exam. So it's fine if you understand these concepts and if you know what they mean and um, you can explain them in a theoretical way, uh, but that's not enough. You should be able to um, apply all these concepts and all the tools that you will learn using their courses uh, in a practical way because as I said before, this is a practical exam. So you will have to get your hands dirty. Um, you will have to put your hands on a keyboard and actually break into things. Um, and I think that is actually what makes this certification the best ethical hacking um, certification for junior people or for junior profiles. Because um, if you think about it, a lot of the certifications that um, exist on the market right now are multiple choice based and although this is also a multiple choice based exam uh, with the EJPT uh, you'll have to, to do practical stuff and you'll have to get your hands dirty in order to get the questions so you can't just uh, guess the correct answer you, you wouldn't be able to pass the exam if you do that so yeah this is really important. You have to know how to apply all of these concepts uh, when it comes to a practical environment. Now, um, here we have the prerequisites. Um, and as far as the prerequisites, uh, my opinion is that penetration testing is not really um, a beginner's field. And what I mean by that is that you have to know a lot about everything. Um, <laughs> um, that's really scary to hear, but that's truth. Um, you have to be very well-rounded. You have to learn a lot about networking, about general IT concepts. So it helps a lot if you already have prior knowledge in those areas. Um, you have to learn Linux, you have to learn uh, Windows, you have to learn uh, networking, you have to learn a lot a lot a lot of concepts and things are always changing so this is not a beginner uh, field and as you can see here eLearn Security uh, says that this is a certification for advanced IT professionals um, but here at the beginning you see that the certification name is junior penetration tester so what this means is that even though this is a junior certification, um, we're talking about uh, advanced uh, profile, an advanced field. Being a penetration tester is not a beginner um, job, you know? You have to kind of... I don't, I don't want to say that you, you can't get into pen testing if you don't have prior experience or anything like that, because everyone can get into pen testing. Uh, but in my opinion, it, it helps a lot if you already have some experience or prior knowledge, as I said before, on general IT concepts and when it comes to networking, Linux, uh, operating systems and etc. Okay, so when it comes to the certification process, um, and here I would like to give you some, um, some information about my experience and how I did my, um, my exam, but first, okay, you have two options you can choose from. First, you can create a free account on INE's website um, and you can enroll in the penetration testing student learning path. So I'm here on INE's website already. So I have a free account. And when you log in, uh, if you click here on the cybersecurity uh, card, 
you see that you you're right redirected to to this page um, when they show you this learning path um, and as you can see here penetration testing student as we saw on the EJPT uh, page on eLearn Security's website is the learning path that um, is meant to prepare you for the EJPT exam and the approximate student effort for this is 38 hours um, if you're really a beginner and if you're just getting started with pen testing I recommend you to do the, the course um, in all the labs and and at the end try to break into these three environments because they are really 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 helpful um, in comparison with the actual exam now if you go here and you open this page uh, to see the learning path um, you'll see that you have three courses and one tip that I can give you right now is that this second course here um, talks about um, programming and coding and different um, programming languages and people um, often get a little bit scared and ask me if they have to be a good programmer or if they have to know how to code in order to do this exam and in my opinion um, you don't really need um, to be an expert or even a decent developer to pass this exam. All you have to do is create your own methodology based on, uh, on the contents of the courses, um, be able to uh, maneuver across networks, be able to use all the tools that they mention on the courses and be a little bit creative when, when it comes to some scenarios. So. This second course is really good. Um, I recommend you to watch it. I, I've picked a little bit on some videos just to see uh, what they were about. Uh, but as you can see here, my progress, my progress is just 15% complete of all the courses. Uh, and why is that? Well, that's because I did the second option here that eLearn Security gives you. So what I did uh, was pretty stupid, uh, if you ask me, and I don't advise any of you, any of you doing that. But uh, what I did was, um, I don't know if you follow me on social media or if you have watched any of my um, videos before, but um, I'm a junior penetration tester and I'm focusing on web applications and stuff like that. So I just wanted to test me, you know, I just wanted to see if I were, if my knowledge and my experience would get me through this exam. So what I did was I purchased the, the voucher and I just went for it. I, I just click start exam and went for it. And why did I do that? Because I knew that even if I failed at my first attempt, I would have a second attempt for free. So if I failed at the first time, then I would do the learning path on INE's website and, and I would actually be careful um, at the second time to make sure I pass um, at my second attempt without uh, that costing me any extra money. So I did this and my experience was um, really positive with the exam. Um, at the beginning, I had a lot of, of trouble with um and i can't say much about the exam itself but let me just say that um for some reason i couldn't find any targets and i was getting a little bit of problems um when it comes to exploit sessions my sessions would would die out of nowhere and for no reason and i actually saw john hammond's video about ejpt and i knew that he also had some problems with um metasploit sessions uh, or metaprater sessions but uh just stay calm um i was struggling a little bit at the beginning so what i did was that i just took a break and took my dog went for a walk um, i came back i had dinner i rested i went to sleep and the next day i just grab my methodology i did everything again um, i was much more relaxed and everything went just fine and so um at afternoon i had i think um, 18 questions that i knew that were correct um i mean i had the 
18 correct answers for 18 questions and the last two I wasn't sure about them but I knew that I already have passed because you just need 15 of those um, just need to get 15 out of 20 questions to, to pass the exam so yeah I was correct I got 18 out of 20 and I was pretty happy with that result um, now as far as the, the certification um, in my opinion why is this the best certification um, in the market uh, for people who are just getting started into pen testing into penetration testing ethical hacking etc um, well first of all um, this is a hands-on certification so it forces you to get to get your hands dirty as i said before and to do things in a practical way um, you can use pretty much everything you want you have google you have three days to finish the the test um, you can sleep you can rest um, and i did those things as i described that to you before um, you can come back whenever you want and that's pretty much a, a real life scenario you know um, and if you're considering uh, getting a job as a pen tester they will want you to know how to um, do the things on the keyboard they will the companies will not be interested in some guy that knows the theoretical stuff and has some theoretical certification and doesn't really know how to do things um, on on the keyboard in, on a practical way you know so that's really different uh, when it when you think about it uh, doing things on the keyboard actually um, getting the tools installed and messing around with them and trying different scenarios trying different things trying different tools trying different methodologies um, is very different from being able to just read a book or watch a course to memorize uh, theoretical concepts and acronyms and, de and then just answer uh, 100 multiple base choice questions based on your memory um, that's not real life um, you will not be asked to do that on a, on a real life job uh, because you have Google, you have notes, you can just search for information and you don't, you don't have to memorize all that stuff. But it's very good if you know how to do things and if you understand the concepts in a practical way. So for me, EJPT um, stands above the other certifications as CEH or Penetration Test Plus from CompTIA uh, because it is practical. Um, Another factor for me is the price tag. If you think about it, the exam voucher costs around um, $200. And I know that is a lot of money for most people, but if you think about it, if you compare it to the CEH, for example, from SE Council um, or the Pentest Plus from CompTIA, considering, even considering that all the training here is free and very high quality, um, and knowing that if you fail your first time you have a second attempt for free um, I think that that those two hundred dollars are very 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 worth it and in my opinion it's a great deal and you won't regret it um, now from my experience I already knew uh, most of the concepts that and, and tools there that are taught um, in this course however you have to know this and this is really important every pen test is different there's always new attack vectors new vulnerabilities and if you try to or if you if you go for this exam um, with uh, a mindset that this will be a walk in a park and if you underestimate this exam you'll probably fail your first time and i'm saying that because i know a couple of people who already had some experience and i also had some troubles in the beginning of the exam and I know a lot of people who had experience who failed the, the first attempt so make sure you take this exam serious because this is hacking uh, and hacking is not an easy subject so don't think that this will be just a walk in the park um, make sure you take this exam serious uh, if you want to do as I did um, and test yourself and buy, buy the voucher um, and just go for the exam by all means do it because it is an awesome challenge I, I guess at least for me it was I was really pressured um, to pass the exam because I thought that 
with my experience and being on the field already working uh, as a pen tester, I should be able to pass this exam. Um, and I don't, I don't want to look like a jerk or an arrogant guy or some cocky guy that is saying that uh, I'm, I'm too good and I just pass without studying. Not at all. I, I'm just an idiot. Um, every day I look at myself and I think I'm not, um, I'm not doing the right thing. Um, I doubt myself. I think I'm not good enough. Um, but passing this exam at the first time gave me a lot of confidence and I was really happy about it in the end. Uh, and that's why I'm doing this video, um, to share my view on the exam and encouraging you if you, if you're interested in this field, and if you, if you think that ethical hacking and penetration testing would be a nice fit for you, if you're a person that loves to learn and would like to experience, um, a real life scenario exam, uh, this is the one, this is the one you should go for. Um, and yeah, I think that is all that I wanted to say. Uh, this is more of a informational uh, video. I'm sorry if I mispronounced anything or if I said anything wrong. Again, English is not my main language. Um, I also apologize if for some reason I looked at the camera preview instead of looking at directly at the camera. I'm still uh, getting used to it. So yeah, I think that it's all for today. I hope to, you like this video. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, um, it's free and you can always change your mind if you want. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!